Hey guys, welcome to section 5, the Autopsy Forensic Suite. This section, we're going to introduce the Autopsy Forensic Suite and provide some indication on how to install version 4 on Kali Linux, also on the Windows VM. Then we're going to show two practical cases using Autopsy 4. First, analyzing an image of the Windows system. Second, analyzing an image of an Android device. Now we'll look at Autopsy 4 overview and installation. We'll introduce the Autopsy Forensic Suite and cover the new features introduced with versions 3 and 4 over version 2, which comes pre-installed on Kali Linux. We're going to provide some indication on how to build Autopsy 4 on Kali Linux from the source code and about downloading and installing Autopsy version 4 on a Windows VM. Autopsy was initially developed by Brian Carrier as an old-school HTML-based interface to the Sleuth Kit tools. The 2.24 release that comes installed by default on Kali Linux is the latest of this type. From version 3 and on, Autopsy is a standalone Java program that provides a fully feature forensic suite to analyze disk images. The new features introduced with the latest versions, especially with v4, are really many and remarkable, and they make Autopsy a valid open-sourced and free alternative to Blazone commercial programs. To Blazone commercial programs like Encase or ProDiscover, just to name a few features, we could cite the analysis of several file systems, leveraging the Sleuth Kit tools, index keyword search, web artifacts, and registry analysis, and file identification, and EXIF metadata extraction, also data carving and timeline analysis. Autopsy gathers many of the functionalities of the CLI tools we covered in the previous section, which dealt with artifacts extraction and analysis with CLI tools, with an easy-to-use graphical environment. In addition, it also allows to analyze an Android device image, create multi-user cases, detect indicator of compromise, and generate reports of the analysis. Autopsy has a modular and extensible structure, as each feature is implemented by a module and new features can be added writing new modules. For all these reasons, it's really worthy to make the effort of installing the latest release. At the moment of recording this video is 4.3.0. I say that because, quite surprisingly, there are no compiled binary packages for Linux, only for Windows. To build Autopsy, we first have to install a series of required packages. For example, the Java Development Kit V8. Then we download and compile the source code of the libewf and sleuth kit packages before downloading and compiling the Autopsy source code. The procedure is not that straightforward, and someone who's not used to building software from sources may find it complicated. But to make things easier, there's a script on the sleuthkit.org forum to automate the installation procedure. The script can be found on the following page. We could take the last post and select all the code, then copy and paste it into a text editor and save it as a script to be executed. This video, we're not going to run Autopsy 4 on Kali Linux natively because it generates a runtime error when creating a new case. This prevents us from merging a source image to the case and to analyze it. This issue has not been fixed in Autopsy source code at the moment of recording this video. Therefore, we're going to download the Windows version of Autopsy 4 and install it on Windows 7 VM running on a virtual box. We've seen that our VM has already been set up with its virtual network interface configured in NAT mode to be able to access the internet. To move the Autopsy code, we direct to Autopsy download page on sleuthkit.org. Depending on the architecture of our Windows system, we click on the relative button to download the program. This case, we click on the 64-bit version. The file is quite large, around 500 megabytes, so it may take some time to download depending on the connection. When the download is complete, we simply execute the installer and follow the installation wizard, like installing any other Windows programs. Well done! In this video, we introduced the Autopsy Forensic Suite and covered the new features introduced with the versions 3 and 4 over v2, which is already pre-installed on Kali Linux. We provided some indication on how to build Autopsy 4 from source code on Kali Linux, and then install the program on a Windows VM. 